Hey everybody, I'm here with Mary and we're talking about Swap My Rigs. So let me give you kind of a, a thought here. What if we could separate our radio, the body of our radio, from the head unit of our radio and where all the I.O. is, and by doing that, separate ourselves from the antenna as well, getting the antenna closest to the transmitter and reducing your loss potentially if you've got one of those really long runs to get to outside your house maybe for an external antenna. Well, there you go. VGA cable in the middle takes care of your interference that you may pick up on some of the lines. All of that this is a really ingenious device that was created by your father, right? What's his name and call sign? Bill Jordan. Do you know his call sign? AE4S. AE4S. Yep. There you go. So tell me a little bit about this. Well, Dad wanted to create something that would make a difference in the world, and he's truly a genius. Yeah. And he said, if I could do one thing, I would create something that would prevent me or anybody else from having to pull cables again. Then, I hate and, it, yeah. and I don't want to have to deal with three little fragile cables. That'll I want break. something strong, yep. I want something powerful, yep. and I don't want any interference whatsoever. Right. Right. And I don't want to be stuck with having to pay for one brand, a, a separation a kit, box for one every box for brand. every single radio yeah, because yeah, yeah. like many ham yeah. radio users, they have multiple radios. That, of course we do. And of course we yeah, do. He, and my dad has an office filled right. with toys. Right. And growing up, my sister and I would say, oh Lord, he is installing cables. Once again, it's going to be a really bad week because inevitably, he said, one of those tiny little wires would fail. Yeah. And, or yeah. you'll pull it and it'll get kinked exactly. and it's done. Yeah, and yeah. so the genius behind this mm -hmm. is that he created a way for you to separate your radio from your controls up to 150 feet in right. some cases and use any one, a Yesu, a Kenwood, an ICOM mm -hmm. uh, uh, interchangeably. Right. And, and within the same brand, and, Correct, yeah. and within, if you, you can swap from an ICOM, say, to a Kenwood, to a Yesu, and vice versa. Yeah, so it's one box kit, right? One of these pairs of boxes, and you have a series of jumpers mm -hmm. that allow you to move the pins around. Because, you know, we're, they're using basically Cat6 Ethernet, and you need to go from one pin to the other pin if you're doing ICOM, Kenwood, or Yesu, vice versa. So it's one kit. It's one kit. And you can move between uh, whatever Six, radio. 16 different configurations. Right. Six, and this is what happened. And this, this is, is the, the inside. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you're ready This to, is moving the pins. So it comes to you. Mm -hmm. It comes to you, let's say the customer, you have an ICOM whatever model. Right. It comes to you configured to that, right? Right. But let's say you jump to a Kenwood. Right. So then this is where you need to you go to your, swap your, pins. Your, and it shows you exactly how to do it. You go in here, you just swap it. It takes like maybe a minute. Got it. Put it back on. You got your jumpers and Don't touch it. any of this. None right. of it. Right. None of it, none of it, none of it. Then you go to the one that's by your controls. And then you, you re-jumper. Yep. In here, it takes maybe a minute. Yep. And you're ready to go to a totally new radio Perfect. from a different brand or a same radio within the same brand. 16 different radios, 16 different configurations. Your price point is lower than any other brand specific. So you. your kit comes to you with mm -hmm. two of the Swap My Rigs boxes, mm -hmm. one 15 foot VGA cable. And you could buy a longer one if you wanted. Yes, yeah. yes, and and this is just not any, not all VGA cables are created right, equal. Right. We'll go into that, yeah, but yeah. then also the cables, that work with the radio toward that end. The I.O. for yes. the three connections. And then you use the cables that come came with your radio to begin with. And it comes to you configured mm -hmm. according to the radio that right. you order. Right. But when you want to swap out to another radio, when you want to swap rigs, let's mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. you open up your manual and it tells you exactly how to switch yep. to a totally different radio and you never touch the cables. Sure. Uh, the, the center cable. Yeah, right. you never Makes run sense. cables. You never have to run. You have to never reinstall run anything. Once, cry anything once. unless you buy <laughs> a new it. house or there you go. that's the point is that because he said that he would run once right. and cry because he wouldn't know how the to one fix time. it. Yeah. No, he wouldn't know how to oh, fix gotcha, it gotcha. because sure. these right. other cables are so fragile. They are. They really yeah. are. And you can bend this. Mm -hmm. You can twist it. Yep. You can pull it around corners and under. You don't even have yep. to bury it because mm -hmm. it's stomp proof. It's yep. waterproof. Yep. It's crimp proof. The best way to, to end this configuration 
consideration is to cut it in half. Yeah. And that's the only way you're going to break it. I, I want to mention for everybody that's watching this too, is that this is actually maybe a really good solution for all of you that run mobile radios, like in your truck, if you've got, you know, frame on body, aluminum Fords, for example, and you have noise problems that you're picking up noise from the IO. This might be the way to knock that out because you've got RFID or RF chokes on both sides of the cable and the, sh the cable itself is shielded. That could help immensely. Uh, I may have to try that out to see if, it, if that'll work, yeah. but uh, yeah. yeah, very cool. So let, let's hit the prices a little bit. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, so you get the two boxes, the IO connection for the radio, your type of radio, Yesu Ken. Yeah, by the come. time it comes to, to people, when they order it, it comes, all you have to do is just connect the cables, everything is there mm -hmm. that you need, and you're ready to go, that's it. You don't even have to bury it. You just drop the cable wherever you need it, which mm -hmm. is also perfect for field days, when oh, you need sure. to go out far from, let's say, the trunk of your car, and multiple people can use this setup. Um, but everything comes to you with everything you need at a price point of uh, $80. And that's a, that's a special price from the Ham Fest. And um, if people see this after the Ham Fest, how, is it does it go back up to ninety or do you have a code uh, coupon code? I'm putting you on the spot. So yeah, we'll, we'll I, I will have that. to I will have to, to talk, <laughs> talk to the creator. It. Yeah, I'm, I'm just the, the translator. No problem. Here. No problem. Um, we did confirm the Ham Fest prices. Just mention that you saw this video and email them directly. The link is in the description to their website, and I'll provide the email as well. So shoot them an email. And so, yeah, so, and then all you have to do is just put your radio near the antenna, put your controls wherever you want them, okay. and hook up the VGA cable, hook it up at the other that's end, it. and you're done, and that's your installation. Cool. Well, this is great. I, I, I saw this, and I was like, I, I got to understand more about it, because you, you've you. got a whole display and everything. This is Thank wonderful. You. Thanks Thank so much you. for Thank you, explaining. Josh. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you. All right, everybody, check out the website. The link will be in the description, and you can find out some more. And also, push your questions. Let me know what you think. How would you use this at home or in your car?